What's going on YouTube? Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. So I get lots of inquiries every day pertaining to boat maintenance, uh, just general questions. And today I'm gonna cover how to properly check the engine oil in your outboard. I have the 115 Yamaha Show. First step guys is to go ahead, put your bunny ears on, tilt your motor about midways up, and go ahead, turn that hose on, and fire her up. Let her run for about five minutes. Five minutes will allow it to get to temperature, and that way we get an accurate reading. So here we go, we preheated or pre-warmed our motor. Let's go ahead and tilt it down so that way it's level. So a four-stroke has much in common with an automo automobile engine, but there are significant differences. Four strokes are vertical crankshaft and horizontal cylinders. What this pretty much means is that oil can collect behind the horizontal pistons instead of falling into the crankcase like your vehicle does. So, contrary to popular beliefs, four strokes do burn oil and should be checked on a regular basis, on regular intervals. So this is how we do it, guys. Go ahead, first step is to go ahead and remove the cowling. By the way, I wanna give you an update for all you guys that asked me and emailed me about how I got the cowling or the, the latch open. I actually had to take it to Alify Marine. Jesse up there was able to drill it out and replace it with a new one. So if you guys run into this issue, Yamaha is aware and they're replacing them with new latches that are not supposed to seize up. So make sure you give them a call and do it while you're in warranty because it can get costly. Go ahead and remove your cowling guys. Be gentle with it. You want her to look good. She protects the motor. Sit this baby up on the boat. Look at this pretty girl. She's so beautiful. All right, so as you can see over here, there's a little port with a dipstick that allows you to check your engine oil. All right, so go ahead and pull the dipstick from the crankcase. Give it a quick wipe with a rag, old rag. All right, then what you wanna do is go ahead and reinsert the dipstick in the crankcase and pull it again to check the oil level. Ideally, the oil should be halfway up the crosshatch pattern on the dipstick. So that's what you're looking for, and that's how you, you have a good indicator if you're using the proper amount of oil. All right, so that's a wrap. All you have to do, guys, to check your oil are those few simple fundamental steps. If you enjoyed this uh, video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil, so stay tuned. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.